Hello, it's me, Maddie. I make comics and illustrations and put them on the internet. Do you guys like my new little avatar? I was uh, inspired by Lao Van, however his name's pronounced, and his little anime avatar. It's really cute. Um, mine's less cute, but it does look like me. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to the topic of the video. Today, I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of going to a private art school and whether or not I think think it's actually worth it. Of course this is going to be different for everyone, but I can at least give some insight as to what to expect and how to make a decision on if you should attend an art school or not. Now for reference, I went to the Columbus College of Art and Design and majored in illustration and then I transferred to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design and I majored in comic art and that was in the early 2010s. Uh, both schools are actually very similar in their structure and from what I understand talking to other people that have gone to private art schools they've had very similar experiences to me. Now I do want to say that as a side note I'm not talking about the art institute schools if you've ever seen the those schools they have like that ai red ai logo logo and uh i'm not talking about them uh i don't suggest them but i can tell that story in another video <laughs> um so i'm gonna go through the pros and cons of at least my experience at both of these art schools and um, a pro for me might be a con for you and a con for me might be a pro for you. So this is purely my perspective. And of course, don't let me talk out, talk you out of doing something that you really want to do. But I do want to at least put my opinion out there because I feel like I would have really liked to know this information before going into art school. Um, so here it is. So I'm going to do the pros first. My first pro I have listed here is it's humbling and puts your talent into perspective. And this is so true. When you get to an art school, everybody is good at art. You might have been the best artist in your high school, but at an art school, everybody was the best artist in their high school. Like you, you're not, you're not special anymore. Everyone can draw, everyone can paint, everyone is artistic. Um, and you might realize that you aren't actually as good as you thought you were. Now, <laughs> I put this as a pro because it's, it's such a good thing to learn. And once you, um, overcome that feeling it's it's so liberating and actually you start to learn a lot more now I was always like the art kid in my heart my high school and then uh, my junior and senior year of high school I actually went to a tech school where I studied graphic commercial art so I kind of had this experience early I kind of had that experience in in my junior year of high school because I kind of went to an art high school. It wasn't really a high school. They had a bunch of different programs, but I specifically went for art. Um, now, a lot of people learn this their freshman year of college and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's really a difficult lesson to learn if uh, you, um, I don't know, if, if you haven't really been around a lot of artistic people. Uh, don't let it make you feel bad about yourself, but do realize that um, other people are going to be better than you or you're going to think that they're better than you and that's that's fine. No one is the best at art. Um, it's and likely you're a freshman so you're gonna you're, you're gonna learn so much and you're it's really exciting at least for me now knowing uh, that I got so so much better at art being at an art school um all right so my second pro i have is most professors are working artists and they are actually working in the field that they're teaching you about so when i 
I uh, went to both of these schools um, when I was at CCAD. All of my illustration teachers were professional illustrators, graphic designers. They actually were working artists. They weren't just professors. And the ones that were just professors, like had retired from being illustrators, fine artists, graphic designers. So they had firsthand knowledge of the industry. And I think that is really, really helpful. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. She's being a little crazy. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really loved my prof I really loved my professors. I, I, I met a lot of really cool people. Um, some of my professors really sucked, and I th th that happens too. You don't get along with everyone, but for the most part, uh, the professors are are awesome. I. It, at MCAD had teachers that were working comic book artists or they had wor previously worked for DC or Marvel. Just really, really cool stuff. Now my third pro is you're usually worked, you're forced to work on the basics and uh, it's kind of a little bit of everything. So your first year at these schools are usually a foundation year. You usually can't declare your Sorry, my dog was going crazy. Um, I'm back. So as I was saying, usually your first year is foundation studies and you can't declare your major until your sophomore year, which I think is really smart because then you can try a bunch of different things for, you know, you can try painting, 3D design, uh, a lot of digital, you learn a lot of digital stuff with like Adobe programs, um, just all sorts of things that you might not have learned had you just studied specifically things relevant to the major that you're wanting. And uh, I'm just thinking of my drawing one class. So the first uh, half of my drawing course for my foundation so drawing one so it was kind of like really just the bare bones basics we spent pretty much that whole semester drawing boxes and drawing them in perspective and our teacher would come around and if the lines weren't right then you know he would kind of coach us to, on how to tell if the lines were correct or not correct. It was really quite intense. It was a six hour class that we had twice a week and just drawing boxes. So 12 hours a week of drawing boxes. But I tell you, I learned so much from doing that. I learned a lot about perspective and um, as we upgraded in the class, we would like turn around and draw the the classroom and the hallways and kind of learn to pile the boxes together and see horizon lines. It was, I, I'm so thankful for it. it. It's absolutely incredible because especially with me drawing comics, learning what feels correct in perspective is really important. Otherwise your, your artwork can look a little wonky and uh, I, I'm, I'm very thankful for that, but it was, it was a lot of boxes. <laughs> um, so let's see, the next bullet point I have here is you're given deadlines that you have to meet. Now I put this as a pro because I am a procrastinator like really bad uh, they talk about like perfectionist procrastinator procrastinating perfectionist that's me um but having a deadline always is motivating to me even if i do put it off until the last minute a lot of times but i it means i get things done if i don't set a deadline for myself and have to get things done then I usually put it off and it never gets done. So actually getting up and going to class and 
being able to sit in class, learn things, have specific things that I had to do and had to have them done by class the next week or in two days because I had, you know, drawing class on Monday, Wednesday. If I had to have a drawing done for Wednesday, then like I, I had to do it. I, I could get a bad grade, I guess, but that would, but why? <laughs> like, it's just, uh, it was motivating to me and maybe for some people that would be a con because you like to work at your own pace but for me i really need that structure and it helped me to build that structure and gain speed in drawing and really learn how to edit myself uh the next pro i have and uh, this is the last one that i have written down here is um, you're given access to tools you might otherwise never have been able to use or learn about now the both schools i went to had really big like wood shops um, and metalworking welding um, and that that kind of stuff like there's no way i would be able to work with those tools outside of a classroom setting uh, for two reasons one i don't have access to them and two i don't have access to learning about them but being able to learn about them in school was really cool i actually i hated it at the time but i i actually i would i like doing that kind of stuff now it's weird. I I don't know. But they also have like big tech labs with Cintiq computers, um, like drawing monitors. Um, they've got dark rooms, a big print center, print screening stuff. Uh, all, all of those things that for the most part people don't have access in their homes or in their communities if you could actually learn those things and access those things. All right, now I'm going to get into the cons. And the number one con is cost. It is insanely expensive and it's only getting more expensive, especially here in the US. I can't talk about other places because I live in the US and I went to an arts, I went to two art schools in the US, uh, so maybe outside of the US it's less expensive. I surely hope so. When I went to college, it was like $33,000 a year, and that didn't include like room and board and additional art supplies, etc., etc. So it's insanely expensive. Um, my next con is you can learn most of the skills outside of a an art school environment. It might be a little slower if you decide to teach yourself these things and use like online learning sources or even if you go to like a community college or a state college, uh, you can definitely learn that stuff. Some state colleges and some community colleges have really great programs. Uh, and the next con is you will have to learn to do things that you completely hate and you will be graded on them. There were a number of projects that I hated, absolutely hated, and I was still graded on how well I could do them even though it has nothing to do with drawing drawing in general. Uh, I said earlier that I hated doing the 3D workshop stuff. I did not like it. I didn't want to do anything with that. I still don't really have too much interest in doing 3D stuff. It's never gonna help me draw a comic book. Um, but looking back, I'm <laughs> glad that I at least learned the basics, but there, there is a point where it was kind of just insane. The things that they wanted us to do to the level they wanted us to do them, despite having never done those things before. Yeah, it's, it's not always fun. Um, my next point kind of 
goes hand in hand with my first point and that you're forced to buy a lot of expensive things on top of your tuition like expensive paint, paper, wood for your 3D projects, or metal, pens, pencils, a computer. Most require you to have a computer that's up to certain specs. At MCAD, we were required to have a MacBook Pro. They provided the computer, but it was outside of your tuition cost. So you paid that on top of your tuition, if that makes sense. Um, you've got your Adobe Suite. When I was in school, it was CS4, so we could actually buy it right out. We didn't have to do the subscription, but I'm sure that you have to do the subscription um, nowadays. Let's see. Yeah, there's just, there's so much stuff to buy and even though it's been almost 10 years since I went to college, some of that stuff I haven't touched since my freshman year of college. And I was a freshman over 10 years ago. So some of that stuff I haven't touched in over 10 years. It's crazy. And to think that I had to spend a ton of money on it is kind of just maddening. Um, an ex-con is you don't actually make connections or have a better prospect of getting an art job outside of college. Now this is something that all art schools are going to tell you because they want you to go to their school, they want you to spend your money there, and especially if you're really good at art, like that looks good for them, that's what they want, but uh, it it's not really true unless you become really good friends with someone that happens to get lucky and be successful. That's that's the only thing I can think of. Um, my next con, and this is the last con I'm going to list, is the high workload. Now, I did not expect art school to be easy, and I don't think it should be easy, but it is really really high workload. The amount of time you have to put into each class is really kind of ridiculous. Um, if you want to do well, you have to um, you have to put in the work. And every semester I took, I believe it was three studio classes and the classes were six hours long twice a week, so that's 12 hours a week, and then uh, one to two smaller studio classes, like I had a web design class that was a shorter class, um, but it was worth less credits, and those were, those are usually like an hour and a half to three hours twice a week, and then there were one to two history reading or non-art classes, and those were like one to two hours a week, and maybe once or twice a week, it, it depended on the class, but that's just the time spent in class. And that doesn't include doing your projects, finishing your artwork, doing homework. Um, and then of course, that doesn't include eating and sleeping or having a social life at all. So um, do I think going to a private art school is worth it? Ultimately, no. But I also am thankful that I went and I learned all of the things that I did. However, if I could go back in time, I would not do it again. The student loan burden is really tough. Um, I also feel I wasn't able to appreciate it at the time as much as I would now. Even though I got really good grades in art school, there's so many ways to learn things nowadays. And Honestly, I don't think that art school is necessary to get better at art or even for getting an art degree. Honestly, I think you'd likely get a very similar education from your community college or a state school or if you're really hell-bent on going to an art school, I would start off at a community college for like your first two years and get your basics out of the way and then transfer. It would be much less expensive than going all four years to a private school. Just make sure that the art school you decide on is properly accredited as some art schools are kind of dubiously accredited or aren't accredited at all. 
Well, if you guys are interested in learning more about my time at Earth School, I might make another video talking about that. Like, uh, what things to expect or something similar to that. Did any of you guys go to an art school? And if so, do you agree, disagree, or have anything to add? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check me out on my social media. I just signed up for a TikTok because I'm old and am excited to try out some short form videos, but I need to figure out how the heck it works first. <laughs> um, so check out my Instagram for more artwork. And if you like what I do, consider checking out my Patreon page. But if nothing else, hit the like and subscribe to hear me ramble about more art topics and have a great day guys. Bye bye.